Hey, what is going on, guys? Ace the Game here, bringing you another maps details. And today, I recently just purchased the uh, Dragon's Teeth DLC that came out last year, July 15th, for the premium users. I'm currently not a premium Battlefield 4 user, but I am a non-premium. So it came out about you know July 29th of 2014. But recently, I just bought it and. The first map we're looking at here is Pearl Market. This is a pretty nice map here, and this is the first time me playing on this map. I'm currently not playing any uh, Conquest game mode. I'm just playing a uh, regular TDM, and it's actually pretty nice. I mean, it's not as bad as I expected. It's more like a, a urban combat, and it kind of reminds me of that one market map on uh, Battlefield 3, which is pretty cool. But more about the map. Okay, it is part of the ward of the 2020, and its location is in Hong Kong and the terrain it is in urban terrain the Pearl Market is a map featuring Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth it features combat in narrow streets and on flat rooftops the map is set in central Hong Kong using this map I don't really you know get on top of rooftops or anything I like just getting to engage in those close quarter combat with the enemy in narrowed areas here which is pretty cool I kinda like it and it's kind of it's new and a little refreshing in battlefield and the map is set in the urban district of Hong Kong a maze of cramped city streets with larger roads running along the waterfront on the perimeter of the map the map has a heavy infantry focus with only a few light vehicles and motorcycles available excuse me motorbikes available from the deployment in addition to AAV 7A1 Amtrak available to each team as well as the fighting in the streets many of the buildings on the map provide an access route to the roof placing additional emphasis on vertical combat now on over to the conquest there are five flags in the conquest large and three in standard conquest that is pretty huge I mean like this map is usually you know street combat uh, focus on the infantry only and to have that many amount of uh, flags on the conquest mode it is kind of interesting because it kind of makes the game a little more balanced in a way because usually in this you won't really you know it won't really make sense to use vehicles in these type of terrain combat and it's best to just go with uh, light infantry and all that is pretty much on your on your feet 24 7 getting rooftops you know trying to pick off enemies which is I do sometimes on conquest because periodically you get more kills when you start using the rooftops on conquest game mode other than running through the streets because usually the enemies are usually you know huddle up in a room somewhere you know placing claymores by the doors just wait for someone to walk by to blow them up and get a nice little kill there and that's what's pretty interesting about this map it's not you know versatile for light armor vehicles it's not versatile for helicopters as well and for helicopters I don't think they have helicopters on conquest game mode I'm, I'm not really sure but what I, I'm knowing that uh for the US Marines in, uh, in this map they get light vehicles they get two dirt bikes and one growler ITV in large conquest mode and the infantry fighting vehicles you get the AAV 71 Amtrak in conquest large so I don't really think you get any sort of, you know, air support or bigger, you know, tanks and all those uh, gigantic vehicles in this map. But on the other hand, this map is well balanced and it's interesting. It's kind of refreshing to the battlefield and it's, it's a pretty cool map. I wonder what you guys think about this map in the comment section below. Do you guys enjoy it? Do you guys want to see more? I will be doing uh, plenty of more of the rest of the Dragon's Teeth DLC maps later on today or possibly tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed the video, guys, do not forget to smack that like button. Let me know you guys are enjoying these type of videos. And like always, guys, stay tuned for upcoming amazing content. Have a nice day and peace out.